Hi and welcome to Chiggy Witcher's Mini Pineapple Upside Down Cheesecakes. These are really simple to make and they taste great. So let's get started. To a mixing bowl we just add our cream cheese, just room temperature cream cheese with our mascarpone cheese, our vanilla extract, our whole eggs, just pop them all in at once, our brown sugar and then we mix it in a stand mixer until it is well combined. Should only take a couple of minutes and then we're going to add our melted white chocolate just a few blobs at a time and mix it in because the ingredients are room temperature it won't cause the chocolate to freeze up and go all blobby once that's nice and smooth and creamy should take about five minutes on medium to high speed that's the consistency that you're after now we've got some baking paper here we just cut it into strips and we're going to layer them into the bottom of a muffin pan so that they are in a crisscross fashion. Now the reason that we do that, it'll make it a lot easier to remove these little cheesecakes when it's cooked. Now you can buy pineapple thins, which are really quite a thin slice of pineapple, but these are the thick variety, so I'm just going to slice them in half. You could use the thick ones if you like, but I'm making 12 muffins and there aren't 12 slices in a normal tin of pineapple. You could use fresh if you like, but this is really quite convenient. I just slice them in half and you'll see they're really quite thin and we're going to lay those in the bottom on top of those little crosses of paper. If they won't quite fit, depending on the size of your muffin tin and the size of your slices, just put a slit in them so that they fit in properly. If they still are a little bit large for the base of the muffin pan, just cut a little chunk out of it and it'll fit in quite neatly. Now we've got some maraschino cherries that are going to go into the center of that circle there so don't make the circle too small. When these are baked we're going to remove these cheesecakes by lifting up those little strips and that way you won't have any crinkled up edges on the outside because they will follow the smoothness of the inside of the tin and they release quite easily. A little silicon spatula will smooth them quite quickly. And that's what you should have. We just get our maraschino cherries, take the stems off them. You could use glacé cherries if you like, but I quite like the maraschino cherries. Plus I bought two kilos of them, so I'm keen to use some of them in a new recipe. Once they're all in the middle, we get an ice cream scoop and portion out about a third of a cup of mixture in each one of these little muffin pans. It won't actually rise very much. And then we're going to get some Mari biscuits or round biscuits that are around the same size as the top of your pan. Pan and just sit them in just like so. You don't have to make a crumb base or anything because these biscuits are actually going to soak up some of the moisture out of the cheesecake and then we just clean up the edges because it'll make a cleaning up pan a lot easier later and it won't burn on. And then we cover this tray with foil so that it doesn't brown too quickly. And then we sit this into a baking pan that has got some hot water in it that comes about halfway up the sides. And then we cook it at 140 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes until they're nice and firm. Just Take a spatula or a knife without scratching your non-stick pan and just loosen the edges. Lift out those strips and remove them and you have a perfect little cheesecake. If there's any little blobby bits, just tuck them in and they have it. Cheeky Richos mini pineapple upside down cheesecakes. Really simple, really quick, great for a lunchbox and they taste great. They're not too sweet, they've got a lovely soft texture and the maraschino cherries give it a really delicious taste. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week and thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. It's moist, sweet, not too rich and a perfect serving size for dessert.